Yesterday there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane oh, oh, oh. And as the light startled our eyes We let go of the sky Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of uh, Tea with Shauna and Yana Today we thought we'd do something different um, The last few episodes we were talking about uh, real estate and finances and of course this will be our today's subject as well but we also thought we have a few gardening tips ready for you um, so yeah just something different today the weather here in Cochrane is great it's super hot we're in Shauna's backyard um, and as you can see she clearly has a green thumb uh, and yeah now it's summertime it's a good time to sell your home because everything blossoms and blooms and you know um, your benefit um, sorry, your curb appeal benefits from that for sure. Um, and it doesn't take much to create a great curb appeal. Make sure you mow your lawn and you put out a few planters with nice flower arrangements and ensure there is no clutter or kids' toys <laughs> <laughs> lying around. Um, if you love garden work as much as we do, here are a few tips that are eco-friendly. Um, so first off is, and I hate dirty fingernails so how do you keep your fingernails clean while working in your backyard so you just rub your nails across a bar of soap and uh, this will seal the underneath tips of your fingernails after you finish gardening work you just you can just brush it off with a nail brush um, and then another thing is uh, to reuse water from boiled vegetables do not throw out the water after boiling or steaming your veggies instead pour uh, the nutrition rich cooled liquid into your potted patio plants they will love you for that um, recycle your tea and coffee grounds you may not like the acidity of coffee or tea but your plants definitely do especially blueberries gardenias azaleas um, they really like it take your used coffee and tea grounds and sprinkle one and a quarter uh, one and one quarter of an inch around the plants once a month uh, to keep the pH level on the acidic side. So remember with those boiled veggies, use cold water, let it cool down before you put it out there, otherwise you're gonna cook your vegetables and this beautiful yes. sun is, <laughs> is doing enough of that. I didn't know about the fingernails, so that's kind of cool. Um, I'll have to give that a try. <laughs> so how about controlling weeds? Because I know with my garden, I definitely get my fair share of those in there. They seem to like the nutrient rich soil as much as everything else does, maybe even more. Um, put a couple inches of mulch around the plants. Make sure it's not treated with chemicals, and it'll do two things. One, it's going to protect the roots from all the heat. It's going to keep some of the bugs off, but it'll also just keep the plants cooler while keeping the weeds under control there. And did you know, with mulch in Cochrane, you can actually submit your receipt to the town of Cochrane, and they will give you a credit against your utilities bill, because in theory you're using less water because the mulch will keep the soil water, um, cooler and more damp for longer. It won't evaporate as much. Also, the beautiful bugs. I don't know, but my backyard, there have been so many mosquitoes this year, and I feel like we've been, the entire town of Cochrane has been built on an anthill, so there's no dull moments with those. But certain insects hate the smell of certain vegetables, right? Like garlic, onions, chives, mums, deers as well. I don't know, deers are kind of an insect when it comes to gardens, <laughs> right? They like to eat the flowers. My deer always eat the first round of my chives, so I will say. Mums are great for those. So to keep the pests out, just add some different some different greens and flowers to your garden that will help with that as well as welcome the ants right eggshells are a fun one we use eggshells quite a bit because although Cochrane has a no cat policy or loose cats cats are also important for the mice however they like to poop in my garden so <laughs> eggshells get broke up there provide nutrients to the garden and also keep the cats out of it because the cats don't like walking on them uh, one thing I did learn though is if I want them to absorb quickly and the acid to go in the, cal or the calcium to go into the soil Make sure you grind them really small. Use a coffee fill, a grounder versus just your fingers. I found that out after sticking them all in my garden one year. Of course, soil and compost, right? The nutrients from soil is really good. Instead of buying chemicals, buy compost or make your own. We, in the fall or in the spring, you do get the free compost access in Cochrane, which is fabulous. But also through the year, you can get it from different sources if you want to add more into it. And compost is nature's best organic food. So spread it on your garden beds in the late fall, early spring to give your plants a natural boost. And then of course the mulch again, right? So your flower beds in the, there's the mosquitoes. <laughs> the, mis the mulch in the flower beds keeps it cool, controlled, and keeps it um, cozy. 
keeps it wet longer, which we definitely need with this heat. Mm -hmm. And how about that rain? Because like it or not, it's coming back at some point. We get it early June. What if we use rain bales to connect, collect some of that rain and then spray it on the garden during these warmer months? It would be a great way to make use of that water that's already falling. Capture it through there. And then you can feed your garden out with it with either the, uh, the soaker hoses or whatever style you want. And rain barrels, too, are a credit towards your utilities if you send the receipt into the town of Cochrane. So keep that in mind. It's great ways to decrease your utility bills afterwards. Mowing your lawn. We actually have a battery-powered um, weed eater, lawn strimmer, and a gas. I guess ours is gas. But if you use an electric or a manual mower, right, you can get, the, get your workout at the same time with those Lee Valley <laughs> manual ones. And I love them. They give it a nice, like, nice choppy um, sound to it, right? Much more appealing to my ears than the gas ones for sure but that'll cut on costs and just as good for the grass so those are our tips I do love my garden I get pretty lucky it looks pretty green <laughs> um, my kale is not very edible so if you've got some rabbits or some other horses maybe that like greens pigs file free let me know and I'll share I'll share with you because I was not impressed with the taste of it um, but it looks pretty Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Those are our tips for today. Um, the next episode will be um, the interest rates. Um, the interest rates just got increased. So we're going to talk about that in our next episode. And um, yeah, hope to see you then. Let us know if you have any questions you want us to answer. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great day. And don't forget to sign up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> see ya. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain Beauty in the mundane And as the light startled our eyes We let go of disguise